Hey everyone and welcome to the club. Today I'll be showing you how to draw a lumberjack from Clash Royale. Let's get started at the top of our page with the eyes. I'm going to start on the left side with the brow line. Starting from the outside, I'm going to curve down and in and then just pull it up in the middle. So curving around, down in the middle, and then I'm just going to pull it up with a short line. Let's do the same thing on the right side. Starting from the inside, I'm going to curve down and then up and out towards the right side. Now let's draw in the bottoms of the eyes. So from this corner here, I'm going to curve like a half circle coming down towards the bottom and then up underneath the brow line. We'll do the same thing on the right. So stepping over right here, curve down towards the bottom of the eye and then up on the right side. Let's place the irises on the inside. So on the top of this curve, we're going to curve around and then pull that in. We'll do the same thing on the right side. Starting at the top of the curve, curve around and then towards the bottom. On the top left, we're going to draw a little highlight circle. So a small circle on the left, and then a small circle tucked in underneath on the right. From here, we're going to draw a smaller circle in the middle of the iris, just behind the highlight for the pupil. Curving around, we'll color that in black. We'll do the same thing on the right. So starting at the bottom of the highlight, we'll curve around towards the side, and then we'll color that in black. From here, I'm going to step down from the middle and just draw a little curve, a little bridge for the top of the nose. Now at the bottom, we're going to draw like a half circle, a little bit more than a half circle for the bottom of the nose. So stepping down, leaving a little gap, we'll curve around towards the bottom, then up on the right side. Now let's draw in the nostrils. So from this tip, we're going to step down, and just draw a little hook going around. We'll do the same thing on the right side, leaving a small gap at the top. Now from here, we're going to draw in the mouth. So just below the tip of the nose, we're going to step down and draw a curve from left to right, curving across, then over towards the right side. Underneath here, we're going to draw in some teeth. So on the left side here, just about the same width as the nose, draw a curve going down in the middle, back up on the right side. Now we're going to draw on the bottom of the mouth. So stepping in from the left towards the right, we're going to curve down towards the middle, and then we're going to layer in the tongue. So curving down, right down to the middle, now we're going to layer the tongue on top of the bottom of the mouth. So right here we're going to step up, curving around, we're going to pull this back up, inside the mouth, and then down on the left side. We're going to continue the bottom of the mouth underneath the right side. So right here we're just going to tuck that in like that. From this point of the tongue, we're just going to curve out towards the left for the bottom row of teeth. And then up here, I'm just going to draw a little curve for the center of the tongue. Let's color the inside of the mouth in black. From here, I'm going to draw in the mustache. So on the corner here where the top of the mouth meets the inside of the mouth, I'm just going to draw a curve coming down. On the right, we'll do the same thing, curving down to the same height. Now we're going to curve up and out on the sides. Curving up and out on the left and then on the right. Now we want to pull these up underneath the eye, curve in and then up underneath the nose. So on the left side, I'm going to curve up underneath the eye, come down and then just flatten out at the bottom of the nostril there. We'll do the same thing on the right. So at the bottom of the nostril, we'll curve up underneath the eye and then curve it down towards the end of the mustache. Now let's layer the beard in underneath. So from the corner of the mustache, we're going to step over towards the right and curve down. On the right, we'll step in from that corner and curve down. Now we're going to connect these two points with a curve for the bottom of the beard, but we're going to add some little notches along the way. So right here on the left, we're going to curve down, draw like a long upside down V. On the right, we'll do the same thing. So curving down, that little upside down V for the notch. And then again, continuing on with this curve, but in the center we're going to draw another notch. So curving across, draw that upside down V, and then connect it to the outside. Okay, so we've got the inside part of the face, let's draw in the hat. So just above the brow, we're going to draw a curve from left to right, just on the outside of the eye on the left, curve down in the middle, and then up on the right side. We're going to curve these up towards the top of the brim, curving up. So bows out on either side. We're going to connect those two points with a curve going up in the middle. Going up, then down on the right. Let's add in the flaps on the side of the head. So from the corner of the brim, we're going to curve down and just beside the mustache. Just alongside the mustache like that. We'll do the same thing on the right. Just touching the side of the mustache and coming down. We'll draw in the bottoms of the flaps. So curving up and out. Curving up and out on the right. 
Now we're gonna take these points and curve up alongside the head. So on the left side, I'm gonna curve in and straighten out. Gonna go straight up just past the top of that brim there. We'll do the same thing on the right. So curving in and then up. Now let's connect those two points with the top of the hat. So we're just gonna curve up in the middle and then down on the right. One thing I wanna do is I wanna add the little line on the ends of the eyes. Right here, we're just gonna extend that line out to the side of the flaps, just for the eyebrows. Now that we've got the head, let's work our way down the body. So I'm gonna start with the chest first. So about the same width as the hat on either side, we're gonna step down and curve down and then pull this in towards the middle. We're gonna leave a gap in the center and do the same thing on the right. So right here, we're gonna curve down and in and pull that in towards the center. From here, let's draw in the lower belly. So at the side of the chest here, I'm just gonna curve, almost like a half circle, down towards the middle and pull that up on the right side. Let's tuck the belt in underneath the belly. So on the side here, I'm gonna curve out. On the right, we'll curve out and down. We'll connect those two points again with another curve for the bottom of the belt, coming down in the middle, then up on the right side. We're gonna add the buckle in the middle. So on the left side here, we'll draw a straight line. On the right, we'll draw a straight line. Now I just wanna surround the inside for the inside of the buckle. Coming down on the sides with two short lines, connecting the bottom with a slight curve. Same thing with the top. We add the little belt flap on the side here. So right here at the top, we'll curve out and then down. On this side, we're gonna add two circles, one beside each other, like that. Let's continue on down the legs. So from the hips here, the bottom of the belt, I'm gonna curve down and out. Curve down and out on the right side. Now we're gonna draw on the front of the kilt. So again, sort of similar to how we did the beard, we're gonna connect those two points with a curve, but on either side, we're gonna draw a little notch. So I'm gonna curve in, draw that big sort of notch. Now I'm aiming towards that corner there. So curving across, and right about here, I'm gonna draw in another notch, and then close it off with a curve. From my center point, I'm gonna step over towards the left and curve down the inside of the left leg. We're gonna do the same thing on the right. So stepping over towards the right, curving down towards the inside of the right leg. Now let's curve the bottom of the feet. So from the heel to the toe, I'm gonna draw a curve going across. We'll do the same thing on the right side, the same length. Now from here, I wanna curve up and then down, almost like a half circle, but inside of the inside of the leg. So from here, we're gonna curve up and then just come down to right about there. From here, I just wanna to curve to the inside of the leg, going across. Now, underneath this kilt, I wanna draw on the outside of the leg. So right about here, I'm gonna curve down to the top of that foot. Let's do the same thing on the right. So right here, we're gonna curve that half circle, going up, and then coming down to right about there. Now I'm gonna to curve to the back of the foot, coming in like that. Underneath the kilt, we wanna draw on the outside of the leg, curving down towards the top of the foot. I'm gonna add a little trim for the sole. So taking this curve and just duplicating it right above it, going across like that. We'll do the same thing on the right side. I wanna give him a little bit of a kneecap. So in this space here, I'm just gonna draw a little hook. Do the same thing on the right side. Okay, so we got the body. Let's go to the left arm here. So I have the shoulder coming down to the elbow towards the fist holding the ax. So we're gonna to have to draw in the hand first. So let's start with the thumb. So right up here, we're gonna draw an oval. A nice size oval like that for the thumb. Now we're gonna draw a sideways oval going this way for the first finger. So on the side of the thumb, we're gonna curve around and pull it back in towards the thumb. Now I'm gonna layer these ovals going down this way. So at the side of this oval, we're gonna curve out and pull that back in behind the thumb. We'll do that one more time. Curving around and pulling that in behind that finger. Let's go ahead and draw on the ax. So we're gonna start with the handle first. So above this finger, I'm gonna draw two lines, side by side. We're gonna go pretty thick with the handle. At the bottom, we're gonna continue at the bottom of the finger here. So I'm just lining it up, coming down. Now at the bottom here, I'm just gonna close it off with a curve. And we're gonna step up and draw one more curve. Let's go ahead and draw on the ax head. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a curve going down and up in towards these two points and then just over slightly. So I'm going across those two lines and just passing it slightly like that. From here, I'm gonna go straight up with a line for the back of the ax. Now I'm gonna draw a reverse curve of this on the top. So from here, I'm gonna curve across and then out. We'll connect those two points with the curve for the edge of the ax blade. Across like that. I'm gonna draw that curve twice. So stepping in and draw that twice. 
Now at the top here, I just want to show the top of the handle. So extending this line with a short line at the top, same thing with the inside. We'll connect those two points with a curve. Let's go ahead and finish off this arm. So on the side of this thumb here, I want to draw on the palm. So I'm going to curve across and in towards the fingers. Behind the axe handle here, we're going to step down, just curve in behind. So tucking that in behind that curve there. Now for the bottom of the arm, right here on the palm, I'm going to curve in behind the body. And then up here, I'm going to draw on the top of the forearm, just with a curve like that, leaving an open end. And then in here, starting at that same point, curve around for the wristband. We're going to work our way up towards the shoulder. So at the top of the thumb, I'm going to curve out and then in towards the chest. Now with the shoulder, I'm going to step over and curve up underneath the flap of the hat. Okay, so we got that arm. Let's move over towards the right. I'm going to have this arm on the hip. So we're going to start with the bicep part first. So between the chest and the body right here, we're going to curve around for the bicep. Now I'm going to curve the top of the forearm. So stepping back up, I'm going to curve in towards the wrist. Now we're going to draw on the thumb, so a little half circle going around to the side of the body and then down. Now I'm going to layer the fingers in this way. So stepping over, I'm going to go right into the body and then just hook that back in. I'm going to step down and just draw a little curve like that for the second finger. Stepping back again for the third finger, we're going to come up towards the wrist right there. Let's go back up to the shoulders and draw on the side of the arm. So right up here, I want to maintain the thickness of the arm. So right here on the side of the flap, I'm going to curve around the shoulder. Now I'm going to overlap the back of the arm. So going over, curving down and out towards the elbow to right about there. I'm going to take that point, curve in towards the wrist. Curving in like that. We're going to add the wristband. So from that point to that point, I want to curve up and then down. Step up and do the same thing, going up and then down. Right in here, we can add a little curve for the edge of the bicep, just curving around like that. And that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's a Lumberjack from Clash Royale. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Make sure you subscribe and check out our Clash of Clans playlist. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.